time. It's in game live prime time. Hour number one of our two hour extravaganza. Scott Wetzel, Day Share Pan until 10 p.m. Eastern time, watching, analyzing, and more importantly, betting and hopefully winning with the boys in Vegas and the world of sports. Ah, yes. Got a little NBA tonight. Got a little NHL. We got some uh, NIT stuff. One blowout game with Seton Hall taking care of business against uh, UNLV. We can take a look at that little CBI action. Baseball resume. Well, not resumes, but start. Well, it actually does resume because uh, the Dodgers and Padres actually started the season uh, last week over in Seoul, Korea. So it resumes tomorrow with everyone else playing. And then we got uh, the NCAA tournament, obviously, uh, resuming tomorrow as well. So we can get into all those props, including a goofy little bet that I found on FanDuel that I really do like. Uh, but just to summarize... Um, from last night's show, Dave, oh. we came close. Oh, we get well, welcome to gambling. Well, last night was <sighs> a, if you if you've never gambled before, and by the way, lo- love the outfit, love the outfit. Uh, last night told you the, the the trials and tribulations of a gambler. But what's going on, my friend? I didn't know you were going to bring it up in this first segment. Uh, I thought we were going to kind of ease into it, but we might as well rip it off like a band aid. Yeah. Yesterday's show was exactly. Emmy award winning. It was unbelievable. You, you, you having a little bit of time to explore sports betting apps and finding different tabs that I didn't have time to know about, brought it up on the show. I was sweating every single game, hoping for a goal from every single team, and then waiting on the West Coast because we got all the way to the West Coast games. I yep. come downstairs after the show, family sitting on a couch. They're all watching um, the, the the game show where you got to guess the the suitcase that has the big money in it. What is that called? Oh yeah, I forget. Um, I, am, I, I can't think yeah. of it off the top of my head. But right. they're watching I it, and about, I yeah. said, I said we got we got to, we got to get. Can I watch hockey? And they said, No, you watched enough hockey already today. <laughs> so I went and had dinner by myself at a place with all the TVs, and I thought about it, and I'm like. What did he say to me on the way out last night? Did he ask me which team do I think needs the goal? And did I put it on ourselves? I think I said the Ducks. I was worried about the Ducks getting shut out. We were so close. We were so close. That was a that was a great bet. I told everybody about it today on every show that I did. Bostonia versus the book. I did a couple other shows back east. I said this guy opposite picks had me sideways yesterday. I was beside myself watching every game. There were 12 games. I said he came up with four different bets. Will there be no shutouts? Yes, plus 250. Will there be every game have four goals? Yes, plus 650. Will every game have five goals? He went nuts, plus 120. I said 120 to one, 120 to one. And then what was the other one? I forget what the other one was, but you had me all over the place. Yeah. And then the other one, Dave, that's not, that's bad enough, but. The other one, the uh, the four goals. Every game has got four goals. I think that oh. that paid four to one. Six fifty. Six fifty. Yeah, six fifty. Every game, every game except one had four goals or more. Even don't be Anaheim game had four goals to Seattle because they nothing. lost four nothing. You know what the game that did not have four goals last night that prevented Tell us from catching the ticket. Tell the people because I I couldn't believe Montreal, it. Montreal, at Colorado, impossible. And not only did that not hit, Colorado lost by scoring only one goal against one goal. the stinking Montreal Canadiens at home. They lost Blue two to one. Rouge. And not only not only did the Montreal Canadiens win two to one, Dave, we needed four goals, right? They ended up with three. That's life, Scotty. You're a gambler. How many goals they scored in the third period? None. You know how many goals they scored in the second period? None. We had three goals in the first period. Two With one. five minutes left in the two first one. period, we, it was two, two to one. one. It's a winner. It's one. a winner. It's going to win. There's no way in the world. Montreal. And we had the best team in Colorado losing. So there's like, it's Perfect. not even like Colorado was going to sit on it, right? I mean, there's, there's no way in the world we're not getting one more goal. We're going to cash this ticket. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Two-one oh, final. Get, 
getting a pain in my neck just thinking about this. I was kept hitting refresh. Like, can we please get a goal? I didn't want to. Uh, I, I didn't want to put that game on because we got an empty netter from somebody to get us the Penguins. Got an, a, an empty netter. Uh, everything Calgary was happening late. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Every, everything was just in line perfectly. And I said, I mean, you were up. It was late. It was late yeah. out oh, yeah. west. Oh, yeah. And you and even Matty G answered in the text. Matty G was stuck sweating the Calgary Flames. How could he forget? Yeah. The Flames game was in. He's got to pay attention. But he answered the text, so I appreciate that. That was an unbelievable sweat. That was so much fun. There's only two hockey games tonight, though. What are we going to do tonight? I, I mean, I I, people ask me, why am I wearing the Boston stuff? I lost a bet yesterday. The Panthers, you know, had the game won. The Bruins turned it around. Boom, before you know it. They win the game late. I had to wear the Boston stuff on the show. I have no Bruins stuff. I, th- th- there's certain teams I can't get this stuff really? yet. I don't got no Bruins, Bruins. stuff. That's the best logo in sports. That little it's, B there with the circle. The right? wheel B is outstanding. I would think yeah. I would get a Cam Neely or a Ray Bork uh, if I had to go. pick. Those are two classics. I, I, I think that's my next one. But tonight, Tampa and over. In Ottawa and Buffalo, how's that doing? How's that? Doing? Uh, yeah, Buffalo, you're down five nothing, and Tampa, uh, Lightning, you're up one nothing. So okay, so we're on Tampa Need and we're goals. on over in Ottawa and Buffalo. That's uh, just oh, you're the on over, over that one. over okay. six and a half. Now, if we lose that one, I, I, I'm gonna, I mean, it's just gonna have to focus yeah. on college baskets the rest of the week, and I can't even look at this. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's it for hockey. That's right, it. That's you win. Fair. You win. <laughs> you just. I mean, what are the odds, right? If I told you that we had three goals in the first 14 minutes and change of, of uh, Montreal and Colorado, you know, what odds would you have had for that game to remain scoreless the rest of the way? I mean, w- with the backup goaltender in there for Colorado, which, by the way, uh, the uh, anti-contract uh, extension system hit with Montreal. I told you. It's a good little system. See, we had Montreal we had winning had outright. Play. We crossed the streams yeah. with that system Cross play. systems. Yeah. Can't do it. It would have been very high. If you'd have given me a choice of 12 games, the one game that wasn't going to get four goals scored in it combined by both teams, Montreal and Colorado might have been the second to last choice of all of them yesterday. The Rangers and the Flyers, I thought, was the one that was definitely going over of all the games, and it did. Impossible that Montreal and Colorado, after 2-1 in the first period, another goal's not scored. Yeah. It's, it does it. I mean, I, that number's huge. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we got a full slate of There's NBA always one. to talk about tonight. So maybe we'll. Yeah, we'll tonight be we got okay. some NBA. Got some pretty good games. Not happy about the Lakers coming back with our Houston Rockets ticket, but they did. Oh. So on to bigger things. We need the Magic oh. tonight. Another bad. Oh, it was a tough bad. Bad loss on the Wetzel household. S and W Corporation. We really. Whew. We, we, it was a tough one. It was. All right, we'll check the NBA slate when we come back. In game live, prize time. You're on the game. Michigan State looked good. We were like, oh my gosh, I mean, Sparta to win the title. Uh, North Carolina beat a team who's barely beaten any good teams all year long, but I was expecting it. Not a great three-point shooting team, but about 139th in the country, shooting about 35% as a team. But the one thing we know about Marquette's defense, the three-point line is vulnerable for them. Only on SportsGrid. Your gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. 
But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Sports Grid, your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All we've heard you say on the network is you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game live all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka High. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game live. Prime time. Back-to-back just utterly stinker quarters. In-game live. Overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now. You may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. In game live prime time right here on the grid just getting underway scott wetzel dave sharepan for uh, the next uh, hour and 45 minutes or so 10 p.m eastern time so uh welcoming everybody in we got the uh, basically nba kind of taking center stage tonight right i thought maybe hockey would have a bunch of games with uh, everything going on uh, you know tomorrow but uh, instead they're going to stick through their tuesday thursday saturday thing so tomorrow's going to be crazy crazy it really will be but nba tonight um let's start with the games that are in progress right uh golden state we we need the Orlando Magic. Great team at home. And uh, the Magic uh, down eight. It was as high as 17, I saw, at 27 to 10, Dave. They've cut it to eight at, ha- at halftime. Wow. Um, low scoring, yeah, 82 points at, at the half. Draymond already got himself kicked out of the game. Gold State's actually nine and five. I was telling Ranieri this. They're, they're actually nine and five against the spread on the back end of two games and two nights which I think most people would think, eh, you know, but yeah, they, they actually are. So they're laying three and a half now is six, six and a half point underdogs. Uh, 193 and a half is the total. Can the Magic come back at plus 134 on the money line on the Magic if you think uh, they'll make a comeback second half? I'm hoping so for your bet on Houston because Houston's yeah. got a tough game tonight against OKC. So worried about that game so we could get help from uh from orlando there that would be okay but like look at this thing like this is this is strange to me the the thunder game against the rockets i want to no, like gilchrist the alexander gilchrist oh, he's out. said he's not playing yeah oh okay yeah so is that a you know what we feel about when the system play happens, yeah. but that's uh, that that means OKC yeah. wins, right? In, in covers. Exactly. The computer we thinks saw last going night with the Lakers. Like three, right? Yeah. No LeBron, they play right. better. They win a game. Yep. How did they come no back? No Wemby the other night, they beat the Suns. No LeBron, oh. so I, I really, I'd, I'd much rather have him play. There must be like a, you know, well, it's a league wide conspiracy. So, but they've won <laughs> nine straight. So, winners, you know, if, if what is your saying? Winners bet on streaks. Winners bet with streaks. Losers bet against streaks. Got to bet Nine Houston tonight. Wins. 13 you know, straight covers. Grab them on the money line if you want. I mean, 13 mm. straight covers. That's 13. impressive. Now, when you win nine in a row, like a team like that, you know, if you're the Celtics and you win nine in a row, that's tough to cover because you're going to be double-digit favorites every game, right? But with Houston, they were a mediocre team. So if they win, they're generally covering. So it's a little, little deceiving. But they, they have covered. You know, they've become favorites in a few of these games. Obviously, they're not tonight. But um, if they win and Golden State loses, 
Houston jumps into the number 10 spot and yes. Golden State falls into the number 11 spot. It's a legitimate so, race. It's a legitimate yeah. race for, for that last spot. I mean, you got a really good bet at that price. Um, the Lakers are playing Memphis tonight. The game just tipped. And he, uh, I don't know what to make of that game. I, I didn't confirm or, or, or know yet LeBron is not playing. I heard this morning, and they were laying big number on the road, four and a half, five. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to come up to the counter and put actually, you know, real shekels on Memphis, two and five in their last seven home games right there with the trends. But the Lakers are 0-7 in the last seven games as a road favorite. When the trends go like that, which one do you side with, Wetzel? I know. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, AD is out, but LeBron is in for the Lakers. So oh. I'm going to go Lakers. You know, I, you know what? They, they need the game. They're, you know, they're not fooling around. Um, you know, they're hoping to get into the number six spot. But, you know, even more importantly, they got to avoid being into the number 11 spot when they don't make it at all. They, they won four in a row. Memphis is awful, right? I mean, Terrible. LeBron's back. Yeah, and you know LeBron, he's got to like say, all right, if AD won last night in Milwaukee without me, there's no way in the world I can lose without him against Memphis, right? So you're getting him at a decent little price, four and a half. Memphis stinks. I, I would say Lakers is the way to go. I'm opposite. I, I, I yeah? I'd only play Memphis? Memphis. Yeah, yeah, I'd only play Memphis. Yeah, I don't want to, but I'm. I mean, K-Dub, Kevin Walsh accuses me sometimes of being a little bit against the Lakers. I think it's been beaten out of me being in Vegas for all these years. I've had to, you know, basically in the book every single night we needed against the Lakers for multiple decades here. So anytime I get a chance to maybe make a play against them, I would only I would only play the Grizzlies. But, I mean, I'm on TV saying it. I'm not actually doing it right now because I don't want nothing to do with it. Indiana Chicago's just tipped to, you know, just now as well. Another game that like Chicago's playing for the play in, Indiana's playing for position. I mean, you got bad trends from Chicago, 0 and 4, the last four games they played. Indiana, 6 and 1 against the spread on the road. Why is this line only three? What am I missing with this one, Wetzel? Um, you know, Chicago's at least at home. So e even though their numbers are bad, I, I think this is probably a halfway decent line. Um, I, it was a little surprised it was even them favorite. I, I wouldn't have been shocked if, in fact, it would have been the, the Bulls favorite or, or at least pick them. So, uh, but Chicago, one in six against the spread, their last seven at home. Uh, oh, and four, as you mentioned, uh, overall, one in five as an underdog. Yeah, uh, Indiana, you know, six and one, as you said there on the road. I, I, I like the Pacers a lot in this game. I, I think they're going to win outright. Um, still, it's, it's early on. It's eleven two, so you get the original number, uh, number, you know, three and a half, four and a half. Uh, I'm saying go Pacers. I think it's. I mean, it looks so easy. <laughs> Do I look like Caruso? Yeah. Every time the Bulls you know. play and I'm on, I, I got to put the headband on, ready to go. Um, we do this every Tuesday or every Monday. With uh, when uh, Joe and I are on, Taylor comes on. She picks the Caruso props. I'm not looking at any props. Right. I'm not. This one seems too easy, Scott. This is th yeah. this is Pacers. Pacers. Look at the total. The total in this game for a Bulls game. This thing closed two thirty five. That seems wow. excessive, excessively high, right? That yeah. seems very high. And, you know, Pacers, believe it or not, are an under team. Uh, yes. Listen, they, they like to run and gun. I get all that stuff. But these numbers are so high, and the scoring has come down, yet the boys in Vegas said they've not changed the numbers. So they still remain. They're like they're one of the few teams, right, Dave, that, that stay in the one or, or 230s. But 21-6 uh, and six under last 27 road games for Indiana. 15-6 and six last tw uh, 21 games overall under for Indiana. Uh, 19, already seven down and to one, last 27 is a Scott, favorite already down to two twenty eight wow. and a half in game. So if you're going to grab wow. it, you better do it now. It's moving fast. Yeah. Wetzel's got all Go the numbers right there under. Yeah. Boom. Time. I tell you, I, you want a hunch? Uh, here's another little hunch. There's only a prop I, I played tonight. What? James Harden first game back in Philadelphia with the clips. 
So is this good? Now, not that he was in Philadelphia long, but <laughs> right. he left so badly, you know, saying the GM is this and that and blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, yeah. I, I'm thinking the fans, this game's already underway. I got to check his numbers. But I, I did play his over 15 and a half uh, points and over eight and a half assists. And they lost My to goodness. Philadelphia at home last week. Correct. So, and if correct. Yeah. They were a huge dog in that too. game. Right? Yep. They were a huge dog in LA. And then you go open the game today, this morning, and the Clippers were six and a half point favorites. I, I, I literally woke up and said, This can't be right. I can't I can't believe it's this high. It's thirty eight to twenty four right now with eight minutes to go in the second quarter. The Sixers are leading 3-10-1 in their last 14 home games. That doesn't make me feel any good. But the Clippers are 1-5 against the spread their last six games played. I would argue they're playing their worst basketball of the season right now, the Clippers. And I've had a lot of smart people tell me that the Clippers are the team that's going to beat the Nuggets in the West. I don't see it, Scott. I just don't see it right now. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. But it's uh, is it time to bet them in game right now? What's the line on the on the Clippers? We want that? Yeah. Let us check. Might be. Our hard numbers are about the same, so I would definitely bet them. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll, we'll tell you the clip for when we come back. In-game live, prime time. Michigan State looked good. We were like, oh my gosh, I mean, Sparta to win the title. Uh, North Carolina beat a team who's barely beaten any good teams all year long. But I was expecting it. Not a great three-point shooting team, but about 139th in the country, shooting about 35% as a team. But the one thing we know about Marquette's defense, the three-point line is vulnerable for them. Only on Sports Grid. Gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Sports grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard you say on the network is, you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game live all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka High. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game live. Prime time. Back-to-back just utterly stinker quarters. In-game live. Overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now. You may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid.
right, welcome back in game live prime time right here on the grid. Scott Wetzel, Dave Sherapan talking some uh, NBA. Uh, Matt Perrault will join us. Uh, Dave's partner at night on the Bostonian and the book. Uh, you can see every night here at midnight Eastern, uh, one o'clock Eastern time uh, right here on yep. the grid. So he'll join us in about 15 minutes or so. But we, we were talking, Dave, in the break, uh, these double digit favorites for the most part, man, they, they've been a covering machine. They, they really have outside of the Celtics. I remember that they, you know, they blew that 30 point lead against Atlanta, but uh, mm. Nick's monster favorites tonight on the road. I think they laid 17 and they're winning by 22. Well, 19 now, 62, 43 in the second quarter yep. midway through. They got yeah. 62 points on the board with six minutes left to go. The Knicks, you know, not, not the you know the high flying Warriors or whatever. No, 62 points. They're on pace for 160 points against the Detroit Pistons. These bad teams have just basically given up. You, you can't bet them, no matter what the line is. You can try, and books will welcome your handle because if you do bet these bad teams, you're one of the few and the proud, the the very few. <laughs> It's very hard to get bets on the dogs in these situations. This used to be one of those times where, like, we would be going into work. As the Sweet 16 becomes the Final Four, all you have left is NBA and, and, and NHL, although baseball starts, and it's such a refreshing thing for guys that love baseball to have to, like, pass off the regular season uh, NBA to someone else because there's no defense for it. From the book standpoint, people get healthy, uh, they build up their bankroll, and then the playoffs start, and it gets that much harder. Like, you got to stay disciplined. Listen to Wetzel Systems. Don't veer too far off the path, you know, because you start to go, oh, you know what? I'm going to start betting, um, you know, WNBA starts, or I'm going to start betting, right. you know, first five. XFL. You start to, yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Oh. Yeah. Don't don't I don't I don't recommend. We that. all love betting that's, football, but that's nah. that's silly, right? That, Do you that, like that? Like, no, I really I'd rather bet WNBA than I would the Without XFL. Without a doubt. Without right? a doubt. I mean, they, who, yeah. who knows what those players are thinking? They caring about. I mean, you you, you don't know the coach is. All, you know, I mean, you talk about throwing darts. Um, yeah. Well, there's I would some stay away people that. that are genuinely really good at it because they have particular very narrow-minded focus one or two teams they know a little bit more about than you know any odds maker or bookmaker maybe putting up the lines so yeah i don't i don't i don't watch it i don't even pretend to watch it i might like a couple of the hats or something if if, if one of the teams have some cool stuff but no i'm not watching it i'd rather hear more yeah. about like you know your same game parlay on a regular basis that's what i would rather hear much more about that Speaking of which, a uh, little NBA tonight. Let's. All right, a uh, little same game parlay. How about that? A uh, little symmetry there. We're going to use the NBA game of the day. Phoenix Suns at the Denver Nuggets. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, listen, I, I can't lay the seven. Don't want to do that. And I'm not going to take Denver on the money line. It's too fat. So let's go five legs. One, two, three, four, five, right? We're going to go Ooh. Denver leading at the half and winning the game. So they got to be leading at the half, but I think they will. That's still minus 165, but I'll take it. Kevin Durant, 20 points, minus 440. He, he's getting 20 points. No worry about that. Uh, <laughs> the Joker getting 25 points, minus 240. It's a big fat price. It really is. Ooh. But I, I'm going to go conservative with his number, and he'll get 25. 10 rebounds, minus 480. The only average is 12. You're, you're paying almost 5 to 1 for two stinking less rebounds. But And then uh, Nurkic for uh, for uh, Phoenix, uh, 10 rebounds uh, at minus 140. I figure he'll get all the rebounds for Phoenix. Joker will get all the rebounds for the Suns, uh, or for the Nuggets, rather. Add it all up. Pays a minus 468. It's not great. These numbers that they're using, Dave, I must say, they're getting fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. <laughs> if I wasn't so successful with these same-game parlays, I wouldn't do them, to tell you the truth, because you're paying too big of a price. But since we continue to win, if you start your sentence with, I only won, eh, then it's a pretty good sentence. So <laughs> four and a half to one, basically. I, it's good to know. <laughs> I keep you know yes. padding people's pockets here on the show. And... um. We did good yesterday with the alternate universe. We'll have that in a little while. Yeah. 
Um, you know, this is the game of the night, and everybody wants to get involved. We even have a producer's pick, these fancy graphics that the boys put together. This is – what is this? Jokic to what? To record a double – a triple-double? Triple double? A triple-double? 240? Is that number right? Plus 240? That's a good number. I think these guys are making up their own numbers. It can't be plus yeah. 240. That should be a lot lower. I like what the boys did there with that one. That's a, that's a good price. Um, I'm going to look. Here we go. Triple double. How does double. Denver not win this game? Uh, how does? Well, hold on. Time, time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. What? What happened? Uh, Joker triple double. You, you know who's better than Dave? Nobody, right? He he smells her. Plus one hundred and sixty. Oh, plus yeah. See, right? Two hundred and forty to one hundred and sixty. You know, listen, you're off five God. or ten points, God. producer. Okay, but you you can't be off eighty points. What are we doing? Yeah. I mean, unless they bet this really early. Listen, Matty George was up late last night. He could have seen a number. Maybe he, he did it last it. night. He, if, he, if, if he snagged it very early this morning at the crack of dawn, so maybe somebody put up a 240. But I was like, wait a second. I'm, I, yeah. I started to look at the apps here in town real quick. I said, I'm going to have to get on this myself. This is plus 240. That's a good bet at plus 240. It's still okay at plus 160. I think that wins. I think he gets a triple-double. Um. Yeah, you know, you got a plus bunch of different props there. How does Triple Denver not tough. win this game? How does yeah, Denver not right? win this game? Yeah. At home. Yeah. But Denver are you worried six, about the first half? Can they be trailing at the first after the first half? Yeah. This, if, if that's the one that loses, I'm gonna be upset. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Only because uh, you know, maybe Phoenix is so ticked off after losing to San Antonio, they come out flying. And Denver, you know, Denver sometimes says, all right, whatever. Okay, go enjoy yourself in the first half yeah, for three quarters. We're, we're going to kick your ass in the, in the fourth quarter, right? So that that's the one that you it's, know, a little worried about. That's the, We've seen it now. That, that pattern sometimes has repeated itself where Denver starts slow. Yeah. And, you know, second half is all them. They, they I mean, they're, they're the best team in basketball in the fourth quarter. They're the best team in basketball. There's no, I don't think it's yeah. debatable. So – that's good. That's good. Like I think we're live. I, I it's going to be hard to live up to that that twelve game sweat yesterday though with the hockey. That was yeah. so. I mean, that was so much fun. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is a seven o'clock start Pacific. I'll keep an eye on it. We'll watch it. We'll see. I'll root at home best I can. If the Nuggets don't win the first half, I'm going to be mad because I think that's the one that's yeah. going to get you. Yeah, that's the one I got to worry about. I think the points will all come through. The rebounds will come through. The first half, yeah, I they, think they, so. they can poo-poo it. So, but yeah. we'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll see. Industry Clippers term. coming back. It's an industry term. Poo-poo it. Yeah, when you when yeah. you say poo-poo, yeah, poo-poo it, yeah. that's an industry yeah. term. Technical term. No, might not get that. Where's the goal horn? Where's the goal horn? Did you see? <laughs> Give me that horn. Five-two. Ottawa Buffalo over the initial total of six and a half. Wetzel, how high does it have to go before you would bet under in this game? Buffalo and Ottawa. It's nine and a half. Yeah. You want to go under nine and a half? No, here's why it wouldn't, because Buffalo scored the last two. So they got a Uh little mojo going now, right? They're down Mm -hmm. five nothing. Uh, How about a little 13 to one on Buffalo to to cut into this lead even further? It is the Ottawa Senators, you know. 14 to one. Always go for the extra. You always yeah. go for the extra. Listen, they got to be the, the, the high to be flying fans in the stands. Got to be going a little bonkers now, right? I mean, they, they got their team. It's, it's you know trying Maybe. to snap out of a little funk here. Maybe. And it's the Ottawa Last Senators. night, you going extra in the alternate universe paid off for everybody. We went yes. over that that Sharks and Stars game. Went over eight and a half. Big number. Yeah, we got cash. You know, we almost hit a twenty to one ticket. On uh, oh. Montreal and San Jose winning. I know. But could have, would have, should have. But we came close. That's fine. Could even get the puck in the half. coming up next. We got to hear about this. We're going to have to talk about some NCAA basketball. You know, he's beside himself with this Creighton team. What do you think of Creighton? Oh. Uh, I like them. The Who do they got? To, uh, who's their next opponent? Tennis, uh, Gonzaga? Uh, Creighton's playing Tennessee. 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 Yeah. Right, yeah. Midwest bracket. Yeah. 
Tough game. Who are we doing Survivor? And you and I have got similar Survivor t- teams left. Who are we doing I know. tomorrow? I know. I, I went over it today on my other podcast. I'm thinking Arizona. I, and we already used Arizona. We couldn't use Arizona. You got Arizona? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we North had to Carolina? pick a, a Thursday game. Carolina? So they got Marquette for Friday. Same. Same. We're, it's yeah. like we're, 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 we're kindred same. spirits. I already got Marquette teed up for Friday. We got to yeah. survive I got my tomorrow. Friday pick in before my Thursday pick. Me you too. Know? <laughs> yeah. I did the That's same thing. I yeah. told him. We already got Marquette circle for Friday. We got to survive tomorrow. That's tough games. Tough games tomorrow. Yeah. Alabama against North Carolina. It spreads only oh, four. That's a good game. Four and a half. You can't Look use North that. Carolina. You can't use UConn, right? Can't you? We got to save no. them. Saving right. them. Saving yeah. UConn. Yeah. What about what about Iowa State and Illinois? What about Iowa State and Illinois? Can you do I it? I like Illinois, but I've used Illinois. I've already used Illinois. I already used Illinois, and I've too. I've used Iowa State. Yeah. See, I that was the other team I couldn't State. figure out last night. Yeah. The Iowa State one was the one. I have not I couldn't figure out. Yeah. We'll ask Peralta. I think we'll ask him. Yeah. Next. Matt will have to decide for us. All right. In game live, Matt Peralta coming up next. Michigan State looked good. We were like, oh my gosh, I mean, Sparta to win the title. Uh, North Carolina beat a team who's barely beaten any good teams all year long. But I was expecting it. Not a great three point shooting team, but about 139th in the country, shooting about 35% as a team. But the one thing we know about Marquette's defense, the three point line is vulnerable for them. Only on Sports Grid. Your gut says Miami is going to win, and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Sports grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard me say on the network is, you're either winning your rebuilding in game live all access nobody has been more profitable as a dog than shaka smart team winning back-to-back road games i, I don't care if they're playing topeka high i i wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever in game live prime time back-to-back just utterly stinker quarters in game live overtime honestly as, as you sit here and listen watch right now you may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid.
Ah, welcome back in game live prime time right here on the grid scott wetzel dave share pan until 10 p.m eastern time uh placing some bets with the boys in vegas ah yes and uh after gabe and cam get done uh bostonian in the book monday through friday right here on the grid dave works with our next guest matt peralta who we talk to from time to time here on our show as well what's going on maddie how are you tonight bud Good, Scott. How to see it? We got to get the verses in there because it's me versus Dave. It's way more fun when we fight with each other than we agree with everything. So it's BVB <laughs> that we go after each other every night here on Sports Grid. There you go. Like well, Boston. listen, look at both of you. One's got Red Sox on, one's got the Bruins on. And this is, and I'm again. a Boston fan. I should have my I Celtic it. gear on. You should. You all should. Boston. All the different colors cover. We could cover all of the colors. That would be great. Um, yeah. Are you watching the Bruins right now? Are you keeping an eye on this game? Because, you know, yesterday oh. you were texting me while me and Wetzel were doing the show because the Bruins were coming back against the Panthers. Are you watching this? I mean, I'm paying. I, I'm on with you, so I'm not watching it, but I'm paying attention to the game. Yes, it's one one in the second period, so I'm looking forward to seeing the Bruins hopefully winning this game. They went no. over my 98 and a half point bet last night that was good they get a point tonight they clinch to the division i believe so that's good i'm on on an under 96 and a half points for tampa bay so i need my team to stop this hot streak for the lightning tonight so yes i'm very much invested in the bruins winning this game here tonight it's 1-1 bees got going in the third period last night so maybe it's a repeat here they got a little off to a slow start and, and they'll pour it on here in the third six and one the last seven tampa bay so you, you, you believe in hedging or no? You, you don't you don't believe in hedging, Matt, right? You gotta bet I do the, hedge. Uh, Tampa Bay down a stretch? No. I hedge futures when there's like a plus money attached to it, but when it's just a one-unit play like on a on a win total and I'm, I laid minus 110, I, I, there's not a lot of value in hedging on that in my opinion, so I just let that play out. If I lose the bet, I lose the bet. But when it comes to the NCAA tournament, oh, yes, 100%. I am, you know, I'm hedging my 30 to ones, my 20 to ones. Uh, I'm hedging off of those all the time. There's a lot of opportunity in the uh, NCAA tournament. I told you about Wetzel's bet last night, P. Ralt, where he had every game, he had us involved in every game. We needed goals. We needed this. We needed that. This is what he did today. He, This is what he does. He finds time on the train ride in, the train ride back, on his other podcast, Opposite Picks, all this other stuff. Wetzel, the boys built you these fancy graphics. What'd you come up with? I, you got to show P. Roll these graphics. You got to show them these bets. Yeah, we got the NCAA tournament props. I love these things. I, I really, I like them better than the games, Matt. I, I really do. So FanDuel anyway, and I'm sure the other sites the as well. Hit the Who's horn. Going, ooh, hit the horn. Hit the horn. We got to uh, go. Uh, the right team. Lightning. 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 Yes, two to one Can't lightning. Can't be lightning. Ah! I thought for Just sure it was like going to be Boston that. since you mentioned it. Wow. No, I mean, I, I, I get I get the alerts sent to me on every goal in the NHL, so I, I, I get them fast. He's very fast <laughs> with these alerts, boys. He's very fast. Ahead of, I'm, ahead, I'm ahead of the, 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 the networks by like 30 seconds. It's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, he's got, this, he's got a right. good app. Give it to us here. What, uh, what's the first one? What uh, do you got? Let's see. Biggest blowout. Who's going to win by the most? Uh, San Diego State versus UConn. You can, and you get both teams. Uh, Clemson, Arizona, you see the odds there, Alabama, North Carolina. I think that's where I'm going just because it's going to be a high-scoring game, and it's easy to win by double digits in a high-scoring game. Hmm. Illinois, Iowa State. What do you think, Matt? I think UConn's going to kill uh, kill San Diego State. I don't think they can keep up scoring. It's a rematch of last year's championship game. I get why it's favored at plus 160. That makes the most sense to me. And also, UConn's been getting a little flack for taking their foot off the gas in the second half. And I don't think they'll do that against San Diego State. It's been a pretty poor showing for the Mountain West Conference so far. And the way that UConn's been playing and Dan Hurley's been talking, I, I would lean towards that. I don't hate your take, though, on Bama UNC, because if the Crimson Tide missed threes, UNC can absolutely blow them off the court, win the game by 20. So my second pick would be North Carolina, but UConn just right now is scary. They're killing people. Yeah. It's so actually alarming that the two of you are the two people that I talk to the most, more than almost more than my wife. But we start <laughs> to think alike. I knew that P. Ralt was going to say <laughs> that game. I knew he was going to say UConn and San Diego State. So I wasn't going to say it. But I was thinking exactly what Wetzel said. Give me the highest total game. It's probably Alabama, North Carolina. I think that one could be. And then Matt justified it. 
exactly the way that this could go down. Bama's ripe to win this game by 10 because they shoot the lights out or get crushed. I think it's one or the other. The spread is not going to matter. Four points, forget Mm -mm. it. Take a Bama on the money line or take UNC to cover. Mm. And the right. value there is on it's on the Bama pick too. I mean, you, you get get a much better price on the Alabama UNC game. So if you're gonna take a shot at it, I think I'd rather take a shot on Bama UNC than I would just laying the plus one sixty with North Carolina or sorry with, with UNC uh, with UConn sorry in San Diego State. And the other thing too is with Alabama is that the Crimson Tide defensively do not play any defense. North Carolina plays defense. If you go by the metrics. Carolina's defense is really good. And if they shut down Alabama, not just missing threes, if they just limit possessions, if they don't let them hit easy buckets, that can be a blowout without it actually going to like 90 points. That can be like a 70 to 50 blowout just because they don't let Bama score because defensively Carolina is, I think, highly underrated. It's why I picked them to cut the nets down. Their defense is better than people think. All right. How about lowest scoring game? Got that of those the, four? The graphic? Ooh. Of those four, yeah. All for tomorrow. Well, Illinois, Iowa State. I'm, I've already bet the under in the game. So I, I, I bet under 147 in that game. So I think that's the lowest. Although you could potentially see San Diego State score 40 against UConn and have it be like a 75 to 40 type of game. But Illinois, Iowa State, that's that's a quick one. I already bet the under in that game. It's too easy. What do you think, Dave? I mean, it's, it's, it's Illinois, Iowa State. Everything that Matt just said. I was thinking that plus 230 price is actually kind of generous. If you want to lay the juice, it's San Diego State and UConn because I'm with Matt again because we talk so much and we well, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. But we've been pretty much, uh, you know, in conjunction with a lot of things. San Diego State's going to struggle to score. They're going to – they struggle to score in the Mountain West. They're going to struggle to get – a second opportunity on a rebound. They're going to, it's going to be tough. So yeah, it's Iowa state and uh, Illinois for me, first choice, second choice, San Diego state, UConn. Yeah. And look, I mean, if you look at the way the Aztecs have played, Lidi is such a key component to them and what he does on second chance opportunities and just offensive rebounding. You're not going to do that against UConn. I mean, they, they've got <laughs> such size. They're going to be able to push him around and get him out, out of the paint in, in, in the mountain West conference. He's a big body. Against UConn, he's just a body. And I think that's going to be a big problem for San Diego State because their big advantage that they normally, you know, love to run their offense through and love to get the second chance and not just point backs, just like rebounds and extending possessions. Not going to have that against UConn. So you know, th- that's why I'm nervous about <laughs> – I think UConn might really lay it into the Aztecs. It might get ugly. All right, let's flip over. We'll, we'll fast forward to the uh, tournament props, guys. Uh, mm. Total number of seeds. Uh, you know, we do this generally at the beginning of the uh, the tournament, right? You add up the t- number of seeds that reach the final four. Yeah. I think the number this year was either uh, eleven and a half or twelve and a half. They have updated half, numbers yeah. now, and they give you odds. Does FanDuel anyway on those uh, numbers? So, four. If you get all four number ones, that's the uh, twelve to one. Five is seven to one. Six is eight to one. Seven is uh, five fifty to one. Eight is five fifty to one, uh, and then nine is six to one. Mm. Wow! Well, don't give Dave asked me this. Yeah, Dave asked me this, and I said the number was way too high, and I thought twelve well, and a half. Was. I was like hammered the under. I was like, it's way too high. So now, as we're sitting here, I think four is way too low. I don't think it's four number ones. I think you easily see a couple of number twos. So you have to pick the exact number. There's not like exactly, a number to bet yeah. over or under. That's really yeah. hard, man. That's a hard bet to make. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like maybe I would say six would be what I would go. Two number ones, two number twos that get there. But that's hard. You can bet Ooh. how many number ones if you want to do it that way. If that's a little easier. Uh, you know, one, two, three, four. Ooh. Same thing. You got to pick one, though. They don't give you okay. the over under. You got to pick the exact one. Two, to me, stands out. That's plus 145. Two one yeah. seats. That's my number. That's the yeah. number. I like that. Houston, Houston, yep. UNC. Wrong. On my no one. UConn. No, UConn. No, no UConn. He's got him out. No, UConn. No, out. no, no wow. UConn, no Purdue. Yeah, I have Iowa State out. taking out UConn. I have Iowa really? State taking out UConn. Okay. Yeah, I, I think everyone is as quickly. I know Boston's Boston. I'm from there. I get it. But I just I think Iowa State's defense with the way that they can play, I think they really can frustrate 
this offense for UConn, and, and I think they can, if they hit their threes, which they have been up to this point so far in tournament play, they can score enough to take down UConn. So I, I think Iowa State is an absolute sleeper to win it all. I've got a 30 to 1 ticket on them to win it all. And I think that that team has been slept on for most of the year. Dave talked to some people that he really liked. They came back and confirmed and said, Iowa State is live. And I jumped right on it. And I, I think Iowa State can take out UConn. How about this one, guys? I, I, you know, listen, no one wants to lay minus 190, right? But mm. seed of the eventual NCAA champ, number one seed is only minus 190. I mean, you're getting Carolina, you're getting UConn, you're getting Houston. I mean, you have all four at minus Go. 190. Again, who wants to lay minus 190? No, but man, you're getting some really good teams that are going to be favorites until they reach the, the final four if they get that far, right? And what's the plus well, that on, on a two? Another out too. You know, you you if you bet that, and one plus of them gets six. there, you're gonna you're gonna get a nice plus price better than that most likely, unless it's two right. ones, of which then you, you won the bet already. But Dave, <laughs> do you but do, but but do your thing, Dave. Though can't you just roll over a one seed play on a money line from now until then? You're yeah, gonna get way better than minus one nine. You four, get all four. You get all oh, okay. four, though. You get all you know, four. So you, right? you okay. have to lay out less. You know, you have to lay out more juice, but you lay out less initial bankroll. And if you get a one-one matchup, you don't have to sweat the game. Yeah, so you're good. You, you, you could just yeah. take the points and go for the middle uh, automatic, or you don't have to do anything except cash the ticket. So that's an interesting one, Scott. It What's is. the yeah. two seed? What's the two seed price? Plus, Plus three to one. And they shaved a little bit off of that. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. They shaved a little bit off of that. How about I mean, a survivor pool pick, Matt? For tomorrow. <laughs> of anybody? Yeah. Just well, a Thursday games game. Tomorrow. Yeah. Illinois, Iowa State, San Diego State, UConn, Alabama, North Carolina, or Clemson, Arizona. Clemson, I've, Arizona. But I've already used UConn, I'm assuming, in this question. Or no, you have not used UConn. Not yet, but, but you, you want, want to save them. UConn. Well, you don't want to save them, though, because you think they're losing. I don't want to save UConn. I would hammer UConn right now. That's my automatic pick because I have them losing in the next round. So UConn is 100% my pick. Yes, if I'm picking a survivor play, I'm playing UConn. Yes. I would burn UConn right now. Okay. Wow. You know, it's not a bad strategy, you know, because I'm in one with 40 people still alive. If if UConn were to lose and you didn't have oh. them, see here's the problem with that though. You know what? Here's the problem. Everyone's going to be saving UConn to the final. That's not right. gonna, a UConn loss in the Elite Eight is not going to knock that many people out. But it, it, it would it, it would it would allow you to take a North Carolina in the final or a Houston in the final. Right. It gives you the other number one seeds that would be available that other people may have burned. Right. Not bad. Yeah. Let's go these, lightning. These, are tough. these survivor pools are tough. Matty, good job, my friend. Appreciate a couple minutes tonight. See you later on. Sounds good. Sounds good. Michigan State looked good. We were like, oh my gosh, I mean, it's far to win the title. Uh, North Carolina beat a team who's barely beaten any good teams all year Ooh. long. But I was expecting it. Not a great three-point shooting team, but about 139th in the country, shooting about 35% as a team. But the one thing we know about Marquette's defense, the three-point line is vulnerable for them. Only on Sports Grid. gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. 
But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Sports Grid, your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard me say on the network is, you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game live all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka High. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game live. Prime time. Back-to-back just utterly stinker quarters. In-game live. Overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now. You may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. Back in game live prime time here closing out hour number one full hour to go so uh, don't go anywhere uh, scott what's uh, dave share pen until 10 p.m eastern time uh looking pretty good with our james harden uh, little hunch plays he has 11 points at the half his number was 15 and a half and he's got six assists and his number was uh, eight and a half so First game back in Philadelphia tonight for Mr. Harden. So far, he's coming through. Uh, his Clippers, though, uh, not exactly lighting up the scoreboard and doing a great job as they actually trail 53-49, to 49, Dave. They just started the uh, the third quarter. Um, yep. I would think the Clippers would come. Are they going to lose twice to the Philadelphia 76ers in a week and a half? Yes. Because they lost at home last Let's week? So. I mean, yeah. can't I'm happen. I'm hoping so. Right? No, nah, it can happen. I'm hoping I think so. Anything can happen. But... Yeah, I'm rooting for the I'm rooting for the Sixers to cover the six and a half at least. That's that's All right. we could do that. That'd be fine. Every yeah. time the Clippers lose, it drives their price to win the West a little bit better. Um, you know that. Again, my guy Tommy the Lip came on the show. Um, I, I he's been in this game a long time. He's on the Clippers and a bunch of other guys that I know are on the Clippers to win the West and to win the whole thing. So, mm, kind of rooting for them. We'll see. All right. Um, we got him in a little peek? parlay. Yeah, we did. Did you take a peek at the uh, NIT game, Seton Hall? Did you see what they're doing, the UNLV? Yeah. Killing them, huh? No good. I just looked a moment ago. Up 25 or so? <laughs> yep. Uh, 86 to 62, 24-point lead, two minutes to go. Wow. That one's done. We told Kurtz yesterday to do Indiana State on the money line. We got that one home. Yeah. We'll have that to keep an eye on this VCU Utah game. It's getting ready to tip after. Uh, after big we number come there, back. huh? Seven big, and a half. Big right? number. Big number. I mean, big number. VCU, oh. I get some against the spread trends for both these teams. Good. Well, I'll give All them. Right. I'll give them. I, <laughs> I thought you were going to yeah. say something. I'll give them the other half. No. Uh, when we after, get back. Yeah, after the break. Yeah, after the break. Yeah, yeah. Need that. Little tease. Little tease there. TV tease. Good work. Hour number two coming up.
smarter to be on sports grid. It's in game live prime time hour number two of our uh, two hour extravaganza. Scott Wetzel Day Share Pan for another full hour. We got the uh, Cam Stewart joining us in about 40 minutes. We'll go over some hockey and some uh, uh, golf plays with him, and no doubt little uh, NBA, and then touch on the uh, college basketball tournament resumes tomorrow and uh, the start of Major League Baseball. I got a great, great baseball prop that is a little goofy. But if you forget about what the prop is and just take the information I have, it's a solid play. We'll get to that uh, when everything is said and done uh, as well. So uh, what's going on, my friend? How are you tonight? I'm good. I'm wearing the Red Sox stuff, not just for you, because I know you're a Red Sox fan, but I lost the the game yesterday with the Panthers uh, against the Bruins. So we're going to keep a close eye on Tampa leading the Bruins in a two to one right now. In the second period, four and a half minutes to go. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I'm already, I'm so excited for baseball season. And every year, I think as I get older, I get more excited for the start of baseball season. But did you see there's two games already rained out tomorrow? There's two games already postponed in baseball already tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Now, will they have the Grand Salami or is that done since two games are on the board? Will they recalculate? No, No. that when you put that in a lot of books, the stipulation is that all the games on the schedule have to be played. So that immediately takes a bet right off the table. That's a fun bet. We did that bet yesterday. I'm looking for a book here in Vegas to to do that bet, like you had yesterday with the goals and uh, you know all these different fun props. It was fun. I felt like I had action every game. It was great. You do. The best thing about it, right? You got action every single game, yeah. no matter what it is. You know, with the Grand Salami in baseball, total run scored uh, for that uh, particular day. Um, yep. Yeah. And I used to play streaks, you know, but then you'd get these days where you'd have rainouts or you'd get an afternoon game and you forget to put it in. And it's like, oh, fudge. You know what? Uh, you know, I already lost the Grand Salami because I forgot to put it in. So, you, you know, I, right. don't, I can't do that. We got NIT semifinals game number two coming up here in about a half hour. VCU Ooh. against Utah. Lines up right. to seven and a half. Was I seven. Um, listen, Utes are good mm-hmm. at home. Five and zero oh against the spread. Their last five home yes. games, but yeah. uh, VCU five and zero oh against the spread. Their last five road games. So conflicting trends there. Um, I, I like the seven and a half. To tell you the truth, um, that's a lot of points. VCU is a pretty good team, right? Yeah, it's getting ready to tip. Um, Steam. Brought that line up to eight and a half out here in Vegas right now. I just clicked refresh wow. on my odd screen, and it's already eight and a half in town, getting ready to tip. The steam was right today on Seton Hall. A game in the morning was three, three and a half. It closed six and a half, seven in places. Betting against the favorite. Um, I mean, it got you home in the Georgia game against Ohio State yesterday. I don't know if it gets you there. I don't know. This will be one of those ones we'll play in game. My first thought is okay. Utah's going to win the game right now is is where I'm at. So um not crazy about laying seven and a half or eight and a half or wherever you're at shopping around. I hope you're right. I hope this is close. VCU's a fun team too, you know, but the, the NIT's turning into a nice little tournament. We're going to get a couple good teams. Seton Hall's in, Indiana State's in, and Georgia's in, and the winner of this game is the other – team that's going to go to uh, Hinkle Fieldhouse in, in in Indiana. It's going to be fun. Yeah. No more at Madison Square Garden, at least not this year anyway. I think they got tired of playing in front of 5,000 fans. You know, it sounds good, Madison Square Garden, but living here in New York, nobody but nobody. Now, with Seton Hall there, you know, it would have been a different story this year, naturally. But otherwise, no one is buying tickets to go see, you know, Minnesota versus Oregon, I think was the final one year. It's just like, it's not happening. So this is how bad it's will they in Indiana? It was, it was in Vegas last year, and I was went, it in Vegas last year. Yeah, and I went, you. and I can't remember who won. 
who played. <laughs> right now, I'm sitting here. I need the boys to look who won the NIT last year because I was at the final at the Orleans. There was about 2,000 people there, maybe 2,500. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's, no, there's just no interest. They got to put, you know, eventually they just got to put it on a campus. That, that, that's the only way you're going to get people to, to show up. So, all right, a uh, little, little alternate universe time. We'll go to the NBA for this. All right, we got uh, a couple of games in the NBA. We're going to use uh, this the uh, segment where we uh, adjust the lines, uh, generally in our favor, but you don't have to. But uh, one way or another, we move the lines, whether it's an over-under or a point spread. And we're going to use the Denver Nuggets and Phoenix Suns. Why not? The NBA, uh, on paper anyway, game of the night. Denver, seven-point favorite. Uh, we got an over-under to start with of 200 and uh, what's the latest number? Two, uh, 226 and a half. And then the Nugget line yep. is uh, actually down to six. So down to six. A lot of times, though, I will say this: they don't, they, you know, they adjust the real line, but they don't adjust these uh, these alternate spreads. So sometimes you get Correct. like a decent little angle, right? So yes, um, people bet in Phoenix for some uh, reason. I'm not. I still think Denver's going to win. I do like the under though in the game. Monster yep. under trends on the Suns. Uh, believe Correct. it or not, under 13 and five, their last 18 games, um, 21 and six under their last 27 following it against the spread loss, which is what they're coming off, uh, with the San Antonio game. So, uh, that's, that's where I'm going to look, Dave. I'm going to look for an under it's two twenty six and a half. Um, I don't know. How low do we want to go? Uh, I don't know. Let's limbo. And a half? Yeah, let's, let's limbo. Uh, let me. Yeah, yeah. That, that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that think? 215, 214 and a half. Put the odds 218 and a half go. is where I'm circled. 218 and a half, that way it can fall just under that. We're good. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility to go under 215 and a half plus 280. I like what yeah. uh, I like what you're taking there. It's not. I, I would really be surprised if it goes over the, the, the closing number. I don't understand the steam either. I don't. Phoenix on the road. Denver's nine and one in their last ten. Uh, I got Phoenix here six and four in their last ten, averaging one hundred and sixteen point eight points. Last ten games for Denver, averaging one seventeen point four. So it would be two thirty five. Ooh, I think this game goes under that low number like that. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. I see the under trends. They gave up a ton of points to San Antonio. Um, you know, their A game now is an under game, not a high scoring game. Yeah. yeah. I gotta buy into the trends and say under. Und. But I I don't blame Und. if you go over. Yeah. No. I'll go two two fifteen. Yeah. I'll All go right. two fifteen. We have All a producer's right, a pick for this. Yeah. Got a goofy but good baseball play coming up next. Michigan State looked good. We were like, oh my gosh, I mean, Sparta to win the title. Uh, North Carolina beat a team who's barely beaten any good teams all year long. But I was expecting it. Not a great three-point shooting team, but about 139th in the country, shooting about 35% as a team. But the one thing we know about Marquette's defense, the three-point line is vulnerable for them. Only on Sports Grid. Says Miami is going to win, and you should take the over. 
Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Sports Grid, your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard me say on the network is, you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game live all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka High. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game live. Prime time. Back-to-back just utterly stinker quarters. In-game live. Overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now. You may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. In game live prime time right here on the grid watching all the action Scott Wetz along with Dave Sherapan here so uh, before we get to the baseball stuff uh, let's go over the board one more time here uh, just take a quick little peek no change in hockey all right we still got the 5-2 Ottawa over Buffalo still 2-1 Tampa Bay now after two over our uh, beloved Boston Bruins so the numbers there remain the same grab Boston plus 290 you know if you want to take a little flyer heading into the third entire third period uh, and at Buffalo, I, I did take a little flyer on them at 14 to 1. That's now up to 35 to 1. So as soon as mm. I bet on the scoring stop for the Sabres, uh, so much for that little uh, so much for that little hunch bet. Way to go, Buffalo. Happens. But that, Happens. Uh, That's all right. Yeah. And the, on the NBA slate there, uh, it's been a weird night in the NBA, right? You got the Charlotte Hornets tied uh, you know, with, with Cleveland. You got the Detroit Pistons going toe-to-toe yep. with the Minnesota Teacups, down only two at halftime. Um, yep. And you got the, the Rockets uh, down only one now. Uh, or they were leading, though, uh, against Oklahoma City uh, on the road, albeit no uh, uh, Gilchrist Alexander. And, and Philadelphia looking uh, strong. Um, yeah, I got the Philadelphia uh, game on watching that Watching that, the Clips. Watching yeah. that uh, Phil- Philadelphia's playing a pretty good game. I mean, really moving the ball around and getting – Decent open looks. I'm not sure about the, the Clippers perimeter defense right now. They're not. They're not covering. The Sixers aren't really that big, great of a shooting team, but they're getting a lot of open looks. Um, yeah, Charlotte actually being tied with two minutes to go against Cleveland's kind of surprising. Yeah, what the Knicks are doing to Toronto, um, I I don't even know how you can rightly even think to bet Toronto, but the Knicks are blowing them out. I got 102-78, two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Game's going to fly over the total, the, the, the closing way total, over. way yeah. over. Um, your Magic are running out of time. I'm trying to root that one home for you to get that that game in. You got a hell of a game so far with Houston and OKC. It's 50-49 to 49 at the half, Wetzel. This Rockets team can keep – we get one on the road today at uh, at OKC. This is one I think even you wouldn't have thought prior to the game that this would be a win. This is this keeps the dream alive. Can Memphis? Yeah. No, Memphis can't win. Memphis is down 69-61. They're not going to yeah. beat the Lakers. That's not going to happen. Nope. No. Nah. That's okay. That's all right. All right. How about the the Knicks uh, over under? This is kind of, well, 
I guess it makes sense. I was going to say. What? Uh, there were about two and a half minutes left, and, and they're they're giving you two forty two and a half, and they're already at one hundred and eighty. Uh, they were at one hundred eighty three. Now it's one hundred eighty five. Yeah. It's like, boy, yeah. if they could have gotten to two hundred, uh, then, then you're looking at a forty plus, you know, fifth, fourth quarter, which they could do when they're sleeping this goofy game. But um, now I wonder if the scoring slowed down a little bit. One hundred five eighty. Um, now you're at one hundred. Maybe you get to one hundred and ninety. So you're looking at about a fifty point fourth quarter, which. Now, in a blowout, I just might be you, a case. We've got to point this out because you always talk about the boys in Vegas. No, and this and that. You know, this game closed at 212 today, right? Yeah. 212. Yeah, I bet it. Oh, I know it. <laughs> yeah, you I miss, bet the under. I know it all, all too well. Right. That's what I'm saying. You miss sometimes, too. Like, I mean, uh, you, the boys in Vegas don't know. Vegas doesn't know. You yeah. put up the numbers and you live with the results. 212, is, this one's going to miss by like 30. This one, this is on pace to miss by thirty. It's not like, oh boy, we yeah. got that one close. It's going to finish two thirteen, two fourteen. No, two twelve. So for every good one, there's a bad one. There's all kind of things happening, but the the Knicks are making noise. I'm telling you, there's, it, I I still don't know who the best team, second best team in the East is, but the Knicks are going to be that team. And he'll talk about, you know, New York, New York, yeah. let's go. But, you know, bing bong, all the things that the Knicks fans start talking about as we get closer to playoffs. Can they beat the Celtics? I mean, let's just, I'm just going to ask you the question. All right. Can they beat the Celtics? Series? Uh, you know, they might. They might. What? Uh, two teams I, I kind of worry about. Uh, Miami, just because they always have that over the, the Celtics and, and the Knicks. Uh, you know, oh if, yeah, you know, obviously yeah, this is all if, but you know, if they got completely healthy and, and all their guys back and then the big guy in the middle, Robinson's back tonight, they, they're not a bad little team. You know, they, they got a decent little bench. They, they, they got, you know, Brunson's kind of elevated his game to be really a guy you can count on. Uh, if Randall hmm. doesn't choke like he's done the last couple of years in the postseason, and you right. got to have the Knicks or yeah, the Celtics to choke like they've done, you know, last couple of years, then yeah, maybe. Maybe that would be the one. Knicks one, Miami two, Milwaukee three. It was a Milwaukee team with Doc Rivers. They're, they're, they're gutless. So those would be the three in the pecking order. They're fourteen and twelve under Doc. They were thirty and thirteen under the coach that they fired. Amazing. Adrian Griffin. Strange. Yeah. Can't figure this and out. And we never got to the bottom of that, right? You know, they sent no. out word, the four-letter network, oh, they're not happy about the defense. Who cares? They're, they're, they're number one. No one was playing defense at the time, right? And, and the four-letter network bought into that. Oh, yeah, that's why they fired the guy after 55 games, even though they had sure. the second-best record in the NBA, uh, because they weren't happy yeah. about defense. Please. Right. And now look at them. They're a mess. They're a mess. They're, they're a mess. They're a mess. Yeah. So would you look out for the baseball? I mean, let's let let us right. let us look at the baseball. What do you got? All right, we get some fun here. Like we, as I told Joe Ranieri uh, when I was on uh, Game Time Decisions, right? Everyone does win totals, and that's cool. And everyone does the World Series, and that's that, that's fine. But we kind of like stretch it a little bit. We look for the extra the extra little uh, mile here. So FanDuel offers some season bets that we could play, and you know they're a little goofy, but uh, you know not not really. Total number of perfect games during the regular season including mm. combined perfect games. Uh, okay. Over under is a half. If you want to say yes, we'll get one. Plus 560. They actually allow you to bet no, which I'm very surprised. With a lot of these props, That's you good. don't, but you can. You got to lay 10 to 1, 10 and a half to 1. We did have one last year, and then the last one before that was like 10 years ago. So it, it, it doesn't happen often, but I don't know. You willing to get the, take a flyer on plus 560 on a yes? I'll pull Ranieri. No. 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 I don't think so. No. I'd rather Are take you willing the bets to bet? No. I, Are you willing, I, oh, I want to bet no. I, yes, I, no, listen, or if pass. I'm in a book, I'm, if I'm in a book, I'm letting you bet yes as much as you want. I ain't moving. Right. Uh, you, can, yeah. you can bet yes. We'll, we'll take our shot with that one. You like a perfect right. game to happen? You want to bet the yes? Well... You never know. With all these relievers now, uh, I, I could see it happening. It's fair, it's, so that's a fair stipulation that it's it's a combined. Right? I like that. Yeah. Yeah. What else did you come up Rockies with? Rockies are going to be bad. Washington's going to be bad. That you got. 
What else you got? Over under no hitters. Four and a half. Oh, I was going to say five. I had my hand like this was my number. Five. <laughs> five. So you're betting wow. over. What's the price? What's the price? Uh, plus 136. Over? The last five years, we've had four, four, nine, two, and three. So only once yeah. in five years. They're on that number. That's, I, I think five is my Five's number. A lot. I went like this. I had it right here. Used to do like that, like, you know, we played that Italian game. Where, ding! Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, draw out a number. Five. Five. Cinque All right. was so my we'll number. Go, we'll go five. over. Right. Uh, total number of times a player will hit three home runs or more. This I'm a little surprised. In a game? Yeah. Oh, that's a small number. That's a small Bigger number. Bigger than I thought. Is Bigger it? Bigger than I thought. Yeah. 11 and a half. What? I was going to yeah. say seven and a half or eight. That's what, what I'm thinking, right? Double digits? I got to Google in a break how many times someone hit three. No, we didn't have 12 guys hit three home runs last year. That's right? crazy. No way. That's yeah. crazy talk. And we got our best one coming up next. Michigan State looked good. We were like, oh my gosh, I mean, Sparta to win the title. Uh, North Carolina beat a team who's barely beaten any good teams all year long. But I was expecting it. Not a great three-point shooting team, but about 139th in the country, shooting about 35% as a team. But the one thing we know about Marquette's defense, the three-point line is vulnerable for them. Only on Sports Grid. gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Sports grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All you've heard me say on the network is, you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game, live, all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka High. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game, live, prime time. Back-to-back, just utterly stinker quarters. In-game, live, overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now, you may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid.
All right, welcome back in game live uh, prime time here on the grid. Thinking we may have found a flaw. Uh, we we got to get confirmation. You may have to text one of your buddies there. So, um, how many times will a player hit three home runs in one game? It's not how many different players. So, if a player does it twice, that counts as two. But the over under on FanDuel, Dave, is is eleven and a half. I just checked one site; it only showed two guys last year, seven the year before. Uh, but the guys back in the studio say that seven guys did it last year. But I don't, I don't see that. Not saying they're wrong; just the site that I looked at. No. So, anyone knows the answer? Help us out and let us know where you saw yeah. that answer because we're getting conflicting numbers. How many guys last year we- hit three home runs or more? I don't think it was. Uh, it can't be anywhere know. close to 11, it's, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking I, like four or five, six. I thought the number that you were going to give me was seven or eight. Like at my first number was seven in my head. I thought, all right, one a month, you know, six months in a baseball right. season and one extra. Like I thought, all right, that maybe that happens like that. But I couldn't even think how many times it happened last year. After watching all the games, they all run together. But, yeah, I mean, I'm at Sports BK Can Sing. You're at Opposite Picks. I mean, tag us along with Sports Grid right now if you're watching us on the on the socials and you have Twitter. Let us know if you can find uh, the number of times that it happened last year or the year before. We like the three-year window. I like to go back three years for yeah. stuff like this to see, you know, if there's an anomaly or last year was the anomaly. You know, how many times did a, a guy – I mean, because if you go back to too far – Baseball was different. I mean, since the since the pandemic, since 2020, baseball's been different with the bullpens and guys just come in, specialists, gas, gas, gas. I, I don't think you see it nearly as much as maybe you did, obviously, in the steroid eras. But I love the bet. I love the price. I think that's, uh, like I said, that's one we're going to have to um, – I mean, we're telling everybody right now. They're probably moving it in risk rooms everywhere right now based on us giving out this information. I mean – I would doubt. Have you got your I got Trace Thompson? Trace Thompson, and and I remember him getting it, and then uh, Paul Goldschmidt. Those are the only two that Baseball Almanac has listed. So it's a legitimate site. Could be wrong. I don't know where the guys in the back saw seven, but either way, it's not eleven. It's not twelve, right? And it's not, it's not even juiced. Minus one fourteen. It's a good bet. Who wants to have their money locked the- up? But jeez. That's that's like an investment bet, you know. Consider it a CD, you know, and you're gonna double your money versus get five percent. Right. All right. Wait, you got you a CD go that, that can get us five percent? You got a CD that can get us five no. percent? Oh, well, say. I did. Good news, bad news. I did like a month ago, but uh, I, what I read in the newspaper last week, uh, you know, the bank's gonna go belly up. They fired their boss. Oh. The, the stock's at an all-time low. It's like what? Why you talking about Wetzel Black Cloud? I just bought a CD. I got five and a half percent. Now the bank's going belly up. You closed a bank. I mean, the I powers the that with the powers that I mean, Wetzel Black Cloud. You closed a <laughs> bank. Bank, like a prominent New York. I won't give the name out. Yeah, don't say it. Don't. Say I won't it. say. Give it. us the best I baseball play it. that you teased before the break. What's this best baseball? All right. play? I got one more before we get to the best one. Um, oh, number okay. of times a player will hit four home runs in a game. One, what? you know, a half is the number, plus 365. Yeah. How about the no at minus 580? Um, that sounds like a CD What's the late minus investment. 580? But, Me. I do. You know, yeah. Four home runs in a that's, game? Yeah, that's not going to happen, right? No. That's not going to happen. No. I wish you could parlay these things, but you can't parlay Oh, boy. See, you're the guy in the book. Again, we give you a bet, and you got to parlay them. I mean, isn't it enough to just come and take your money? Let us hold it for six months. We'll give it back. You closed the bank? How did you do this? Yeah. I don't know. (laughs) I bought a CD. You know, I, I went in there. They were given a great rate. I got one of those postcards in the mail. Hey, come down to the bank. You know, five and a half percent. It was, uh, yeah, I think, a 13 I'd month or 11 come into month. I'd rather book and lay 580 on the no four home runs. No, no four home runs for it. It's much better. When you really and think we about ain't going it, nowhere. that's what it is. Okay, ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. You're going to cash the ticket, and you're going to get a hell of a right. lot more than uh, you know 5%. 
So, all right, here's yeah. the best divide one of 100 all. divided by 580. How about 17%? Yeah. 17% money. Interest. Yeah. Let's go. All right. All right. Your, what, what, here's what's the, the best, best one. Bet? Give it to me. Come on. Give it. Let's this go. one's a little surprising. So, hold on a second. There we go. Uh, over under cycles hit four Ooh. and a half. Now, I, I had thought three the number was going to be. That's exactly right. Three. I will tell you. Last five years, cycles. Last year, five. Year before that, five. Year before that, four. Year before that, six. Year before that, five. Year before that, seven. So five out of the last six years, we've had at least five cycles, and they're giving us four and a half. Okay. Got to go over, right? And the one year what's it didn't was, was four. Yeah, what's the price? Plus the money. Plus 122. Okay. I feel like there's so, more guys that can do it now than ever, right? Right. There's guys that the, the, the guys that hit for power can run. Like the triple used to be the thing, right, that you couldn't get. I feel like right. that's a lot more likely to happen now. Um, wow. Okay. Plus money, plus I'm money. Another guy, I'm, yeah. They're trying to you're trying to pull me in, just like the Godfather yeah. said. Just when I thought I was exactly. out, you pull me right <laughs> back in. Pull me back in. Mm. Now yeah. I wish you could parlay. Now I bet you wish you could parlay that stuff, right? Put a couple of those parlays together. Don't we have enough? Why do they allow some parlays? parlays? Seriously. Why do they allow enough? some and some, not other things, Dave? Why do they like we can um, parlay who's going to win the Stanley Cup and and who's going to win you know the NCAA championship which absolutely what has nothing to do with the other right why allow that parlay but then they won't allow you know two baseball parlays or props a lot of there, there can be correlation in the baseball parlay in, in the baseball props you know you can bet the the no cycle with the whatever a lot of times it's a setting on the software that you just have to uncheck to allow it because it's built in to protect the book and protect, you know, exposure to parlays that you don't want. So, uh-huh. I mean, sometimes it's as simple as that. But, like, the championship parlays, allowing them may expose you to much bigger risk on things because, like us, I mean, if we get this championship, yeah. NCAA championship in, We've turned the Stanley Cup into an unbelievable sweat, which would then turn the NBA championship into a gigantic sweat. So I understand why some books don't want their risk averse. They don't want that. But if you welcome a little bit of risk and you can manage it, I think you should allow those. So that's good. We've got a couple of places in town here that do it. Um, in talking to you, I've tried to maybe partake in different things. But the baseball parlays are different. You do, you, you just right. have them turned off unless somebody asks to turn them off. That's all. I have noticed that. I, I've noticed certain days they'll allow it, and then I'll go back like a day later. Like they're not allowing. It. What what happened? <laughs> it's the same team, same bet, right? You know, they get realized. Um, yeah. All right, so we're going they over four and a half. They probably weren't supposed to be on, Scotty. They, yeah. they probably weren't supposed to be on, and then yeah. somebody got one through, and then the next guy came in and said, you know. Hey, Vinny, Got it. Got it. Oh, Ottawa. Yeah. Uh, stinking Ottawa. Oh, sorry, Scott. Out of all That's four right. teams. All right. Yeah. Is what yeah. it is. That's I got right. the over already. My Buffalo bet's dead. All right. So over <laughs> four and a half uh, cycles, right? Cycle. That's a good number. I mean, if you want to yeah. do it, I, I think it ends four or five, right? It ends four or five. You just gave right. us the history. We're going to have to sweat that thing all the way to September. Unless you get yeah. a bunch of cycles in the summer, you want to sweat that all summer. You, For you plus probably are somebody that checks that bet. You check that bet probably daily, right? If you make that bet, you check it every day. Yeah, I would. Yeah, <laughs> you know what we did last year? We put. Uh, we should do this too for our show. I picked three guys to have two RBIs or more. 
and you play them every single night. And if it Here hits, it pays about five, six hundred to one, depending on the you know the guys you pick. And you don't pick crazy guys. You know, you pick Judge and then you know, uh, of course, uh, whoever. You're, right, and yeah. it, it'll pay you know three, four, five hundred to one. And you just hope, okay, you know what? One time, basically the entire year, and actually we did it last year with the podcast, and it hit a couple times, and then we actually ended up winning uh, some money. And literally, you put two dollars on it. Two dollars on it, and, and you're going to win about six hundred right. if it hits. Boom. Yeah, we got to pick the two or three guys. Three guys. What do you think? Two RBIs. Three guys. All the same. Yeah. Two RBIs, and they let you to parlay that. Yep, FanDuel allows you to parlay that. Now you gave me a homework assignment for tonight. How did you? Yeah. I mean, seriously. We'll start this next week. Eh. Yeah. So much. Yeah, going we have to on. do it from the beginning. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Maybe pick some uh, Dodgers. Got- I use Dodgers. You know, uh, Colorado right. guys you could even use with those rocky, goofy scores, especially at home. Oh, no. They're going to be the worst Red team Sox? in baseball. I don't want to use them. I know. I think they can them. score, though, right? No. They're going to be bad. You use Harper, Phillies, home run guys. Phillies, get okay. Yeah. We got Cam coming so, up next. Cam Stewart coming up next. Michigan State looked good. We were like, oh my gosh, I mean, Sparta to win the title. Uh, North Carolina beat a team who's barely beaten any good teams all year long. But I was expecting it. Not a great three-point shooting team, but about 139th in the country, shooting about 35% as a team. But the one thing we know about Marquette's defense, the three-point line is vulnerable for them. Only on Sports Grid. gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Sports grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. All I've heard you say on the network is, you're either winning or you're rebuilding. In-game live all access. Nobody has been more profitable as a dog than Shaka Smart team. Winning back-to-back road games. I, I don't care if they're playing Topeka High. I, I wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever. In-game live. Prime time. Back-to-back just utterly stinker quarters. In-game live. Overtime. Honestly, as, as you sit here and listen, watch right now. You may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid.
Hey, welcome back in game live prime time right here on the grid. We got a little hockey. We got a little NBA a little NIT game. And we have another goal as our goal <laughs> horn sounds off. Ah, uh, yes, as we welcome like, our good buddy Cam Stewart. I had no <laughs> idea. I'm like, are you okay, Wetzel? I thought there's like an intruder in the studio there. I'm like, you better watch <laughs> out. This guy with a balaclava. Is that that one? You go, wee, wee. Well, you have like a goal like that. I, I don't know. It sounds like a guy with like attacking trash cans. I didn't know if that was a, yeah, that a was siren. A cool horn. <laughs> that was a different one. A different there one. it is. Lightning, three. Yeah. Yes. Bruins, yes. one. Yes. We need the lightning ah, that's right. in a major way. Like that Sabres game yeah. tonight, guys, 5 nothing before it even started. These guys are unreal. Beautiful. Like, Are you kidding Beautiful. me? Like, I had the over, but Dave, I can't, I can't lie in the show. I actually took Buffalo. And McKinnis warned me last night. He's like, this is what they're going to do. They're going to screw it up. Like, I'm just like, I got to stop betting with my heart. Like, this is what Ottawa does, too. Watch these guys. They're going to win, like, 10 games in a row when it doesn't even matter. Oh. All these teams that make the playoffs, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I know. Yeah. We came close last night, uh, Cam, to our favorite little bet that we had talked about yesterday uh, with, oh, yeah. with the uh, everyone oh. scoring, you know, oh, and then uh, everyone getting uh, <laughs> each game having four goals or more. One. Uh, one. One. Game. Each yep. one. One. Game. One. Yep. The Ducks. Dave, first Stinkin of all, Dave, Anaheim. I owe you a thank you because my little dog night, <laughs> I got murdered. Like, I'm sitting there going, that's why people, you gave me a free steak and stuff at the, but the totals were great in the over in uh, Dallas and all the other games. Dave, thank you so much oh. for giving me the under in the, in the Anaheim game. I bet it live too, yep. because I got smoked at the end of, even me and Wetzel, I'm like, Hey, here come the sharks. They're only down to three to two now, 10 seconds later, four, two, five. Like, come on guys. Like, what are you doing? Like, I, I just don't like, it's just every time I got excited, I'm like, Ooh, is plus three and a half good enough? But anyway, Dave, we move forward. Scott, we got to oh, move on. It was bad got... enough. Yeah. Cam, yeah. it was bad enough. We had all the games to not have a shutout, right? So yep. the Ducks get shut out. That blows that one. Mm -hmm. But Wetzel, we had that every game to have four goals at least, right? Cam, mm -hmm. if we would have told you that plus the game that would get us to not have four goals in last night, Montreal – Beat the Avalanche two to one. All we needed was another goal in that game, and that plus six fifty cashes. Every game has four goals or more. That's the only one that lost. I love I love the way you guys do this at night. I got to get in like this this program because those are fantastic bets. I got to tell you, Dave, that Montreal oh. game saved, saved my behind. You know the way I bet with dogs. That yes. game made up for a lot of real bad decisions I made. Like because you know I. <laughs> I take dogs and like I, I do a lot of really stupid <laughs> stuff, like especially like late night. I'm like I I, I got to stop taking these teams that suck. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know really what else to say. But th I'll tell you, Montreal's a scrappy team. Dave. We had you guys three goals this. in the first period, Kim. Oh, I know. Kim, I know we Scott. had three goals I, I, in the first period. We couldn't get one stinking goal. And you're telling I mean, me Anaheim can't get a goal against the Kraken? We we're giving up like right. five, five, six a game. I know. None of this stuff makes sense, Scott. I, I try. I tried every night to make logic of it. There, there's no logic to this gambling. But anyway, lightning, that's good. Can you make Baseball, logic of the golf this week? Can you please I, I make yes, logic I, yes, of yes, the yes. golf this week, please? I'll try, Dave. I'll, I'll try. I, I work, we'll talk baseball, too, because I know, Dave, I really like your yeah. Pirates win team a total over. Reds to win the division at 4-1. to one. We got a lot of interesting stuff we could talk about. But let's get into the golf. We got the Houston Open this week. Uh, Scott, Dave, I've been betting a long time. From the days of people moving boulders for Tiger Woods to win golf tournaments at 4-5-1. to five to one. Now we're having a man named Scotty Scheffler at plus 250. I repeat, plus 250. Who? Wow. Scotty wow. Scheffler. Unbettable numbers. Wow. Top 10s, minus 150. This stuff used to be plus 250. Like, I'm like, Dave, I, like you've taken me out of the market. Like, literally, like, I wanted to upgrade my Corolla to a better auto. I'm like, I can't. No, no, I, I'm I'm fine. I'll just drive my crap box. Like, Wetzel, he's, he's going to keep his jeans and new balance. We like the way it is. We're not, yep. no, we're not going to get fleeced, okay? I'm not paying plus 250 for a guy to win a damn golf tournament, okay? I don't care if it's I don't care if it's God. I'm not taking him at plus 250. Enough yeah. is enough here. What have we done? We bet we bet him right out of the marketplace, but I digress, guys. Let's have fun this week. Let's hope a guy with a yellow ball and a bucket hat doesn't win. We're going to start things <laughs> off with Will Zalatoris, friend of the program. Sometimes good top 10 guy. He's got to win eventually. This course, I'm telling you, it's perfect for him. 20 to 1. Also, I like Sahit Gala out of the chalk. 
He's 18 to 20 to 1. Scott, I'm not going to give Eric Cole to you this week because he's dead to me. So let's go with my friend. <laughs> yeah. And it's also named after a sandwich. Tom Hoagie. Tom Hoagie sandwich. He went to TCU. Where are we playing? We're playing in Texas. This guy finishes. He loves top 20s and he loves making money. Tom Hoagie is a great price at 50 to 1. I told you, Dave, what's your favorite thing to do like mine after I go visit the, the senior home? Take a nap. nap. Jake. Yep. Jake Take afternoon nap. nap at 60 to 1. Billy Horschel is playing great golf right now. He is 65 to 1, and I love him this week, and he loves playing in Texas. Ash K. Batia weighs about 90 pounds soaking wet, but he murders the ball. Watch out for this kid. His IQ is very high, and he's getting better and better and more confident as he grows in the PGA Tour. And I'm getting dangerous Joel Damon. Listen to this, guys. Fifth and ninth. The last time he's played in this tournament. So two to- two times, a fifth and a ninth, and I'm getting this guy at like 90 to 1? Sign me up with uh, Joel Damon. Uh, Washington Husky as well, and that's uh, good enough for me. So that's what we're liking in the golf. I got a couple top 20s and 40s for you guys. Hopefully we do well this week. I'm going to tell you, hey, Nasty Nate Lashley's my guy. He's either going to miss the cut or almost win. Scott, remember that time I had him at 700 to 1 and he came third? I thought I was going to win like 15 grand, but Dave, you know I never get the big score because Gambler doesn't Mm. like me. Sam Ryder's on the storm, plus 175. He's a top 20 machine almost every tournament. And I found a new guy. This is my new Eric Cole. Screw you, Eric Cole. I'm going with Novak Djokovic? No. Andrew Novak, plus 145. A great finish last week inside the top. All he does, this guy makes cuts and makes money. Nobody really knows about him, and he's trending in the right direction, playing very, very good golf. He's just one of those guys that makes money, plus 145. We are there. We're going to have a good time this week. And you know what, Dave? I have a good feeling that one of us is going to clip a big one this week if Scheffler doesn't win at plus 250. Got to beat the, the favorite. It's like horse racing. It's like we got to beat the favorite. I can't I'm gonna believe these prices. No, like you, you, we have to take like Dodgers winning division with Scotty Scheffler with like Max Verstappen. Like, you know what I mean? Like we have to build four leg parlays with this guy now to get it to like 12 to one. Like eh, enough is enough here. Like if he beats us, he beats us. And I'll tell you, a lot of people already like him at the Masters. What is he going to be like? Five, four or five to one there? One before. He keeps coming down. I can't believe it. Yeah. It keeps coming down. Yeah. Um, do you have any baseball that you want to put out? Now, Wetzel has a couple crazy bets that we just finished like talking hear. about last segment. He really yeah. went nuts with some season long stuff, but the guy closed a bank, literally closed a bank making a play on a CD. So I don't know if we could. We could give these out right away. I don't know, Wetzel. Wetzel, you always intrigue me. So why don't you tell me what you're uh, what you're up to? It's always something. All right. Um, yep. We'll start with the, the the best one. Total cycles for the season, four and a half. I will over. tell you, over the last five years, we've had five, five, four, six, five, seven. And they're giving Ooh. us four and a half plus odds, plus 122. Plus Five out of the plus last money. six years, this is hit. I, no, what's so, like, I don't know. You, you come up with this stuff. It's not you do at night. You just, you know, <laughs> you go to your quiet room and you investigate weird it's things just, that no I one's betting. But I really like it. This is what he I, I know, yeah. and I like your weird bets. Like, these are the opposite of dark clouds. That's good investigation. That's good research. And you guys know. It's a selfish world we're in right now. A guy could stretch out a trip. You know what I mean, Dave? Like, oh, I'll just take yes. this base and this base. That's the thing. They don't, they're don't. not going to go for the extra base to help the team. It's like, oh, I need this for the cycle. So how about I stop here and this will be what? So triple's usually the problem with the cycle. You know what? But I think we can get at least six this year. I'm with you, Wetzel. Like, I, I think that's a really good bet. I think, it's a, I think it's a great bet, in fact. And I talked about this before, guys. Like, the Orioles are two to one to win the division. You can get the Blue Jays at close to four to one. Heck, you could bet... Yankees favorites in that division? No, no. And I don't Doesn't know why you're wearing sense. Red Sox stuff there, Dave. That's kind of interesting. I I don't know your angle yeah. there, but uh, I'm listening. I lost a bet. Not one. I lost. Oh. I lost a bet yesterday. I had the Panthers, and I had. I was oh, the what Panthers what blew that game to the Bruins. A, oh God! I, had to, I, I, so I, that, I said, bro. "Look, I'll wear the Boston stuff on the show today. I I don't have no Bruins stuff." So I wore the Boston stuff because baseball season starting tomorrow. And so yeah. people can get me clipped and stuff in this Boston Red Sox. It's a Ted Williams jersey, old school nice. Red Sox. Beautiful. You know, it's nice. Number That's Wetzel's nine. team. That's so what you guys are both there. Yeah. See, Wetzel's happy with you tonight. He hates the Stankies. How about this uh, one? How about yes, this one, yes, Cam? Not. 
Total, mm -hmm. total, no, or how many uh, times will a guy hit three home runs in a game this year? Now, I looked think it up. Think of a number. Think of a number. Uh, think of a number. What do you think it is? Right? What do you think it is? Well, yeah. How many Six? times that happened in the season? Good number. It's a good number. Six. That's off the top of my head. Six or seven. Listen to this. How about 11 and a half Fanduel's given us? No big. Under. Well, minus 110. Under? <laughs> Uh, under, under, right? Under. It's a shovel. I only see it happening twice last year. Um, I, I saw mean, Jim Comey hit three bombs again in old Yankee Stadium when I went to a game, and it was years awesome. ago. Yeah, it was, was great. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. so that's when I wasn't as red and like not as stressed and out. Half. Yeah, that's insane, Scott. I, mean, I love your like. I don't know, like the, you're really digging deep, and but so far, so you've given me both, <laughs> and we're on the same side of both under. And yeah. over for the cycle. It's under a special and. tabs button, season long yeah. specials. You can find it up there because I'm looking here. I'm going to drive around all night to see if I can find this bet. That number got to be, be off. <laughs> got a number got to be off. No, it's off. It you must be, be going right? wild, Dave. I, I don't know. So why would they put it this high? Like, what's what's the what's the angle? I have no what's... idea. It's wrong. It's just somebody's that that somebody's opinion. It's wrong. That's too it's high. Very wrong. It's very wrong. I love that. Huh? I'm with you, guy. I, I, Dave, what do you think about this one? Reds to win the division at four to one, with their young pitching staff. Like, really, you think the Cardinals think are going to do? Have, it? I think I think you're going to have a run for your money the whole season. You got to beat the Cubs. Mm -hmm. I hope the Pirates are better. I think the Cardinals. I can't understand this line. I can't believe the Cardinals are still the favorite. I agree I would with you. Flip. They would be below the Reds for me. I would. I would put Cubs one and Reds a little bit closer. I think the Reds are going to give you your money's worth all the way to September. You're going to have to maybe sweat closing the show. But I think the Reds are going to make the playoffs in the National League. I really so do. do. I. So do I. I think it's a good bet at 4-1. to one. I think I, I think the Mariners offer value at 3-1, to one, but I'm going to bet the Reds. College basketball tomorrow, guys, have already got click Clemson plus 7.5. I think they give Arizona fits. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about that game. I like North Carolina over Alabama under 173.5. Iowa, okay. Illinois, plus one and a half, and Moneyline, plus 105 against Iowa State. I like Marquette okay. to beat NC State. That's parlay material. And I like yep. Creighton, plus two and a half against Tennessee. That's what I'm doing Ooh. in basketball tomorrow because I'm not going to see you guys. I think it's a wow. NCAA That's special right. on the grid tomorrow tomorrow night. So I hope we win some money. You guys like anything? You got UConn in a blowout over San Diego State at all? We, we I like UConn to win that, that game power. by 16, yeah. Dave. What do you think, in 16? They're going to crush them. Yeah, They're gonna crush I like them. it too. What do you think, Wetzel? Yeah. Any dogs? Alabama, huh? Yeah, too Under high. Under Alabama, North Carolina, huh? Me and, yeah, we, me and Gabe talked about it last night. If North Carolina, we like them at side, they want to slow it down. If the better team will dictate tempo in that game. Alabama wants to run with these guys. I don't think I don't think North Carolina is going to fall for their trap. I know it's a very manageable total with those teams, but I lean under. Those guys sold me on the under in that game, and I like North Carolina. And I'm taking Clemson as yeah. my pooch. Cam, a game went way under first game or second game too. So maybe you're Cam on right, Scott. Cam, great job, Cam and Gabe. Yep. Top of the hour. Don't, uh, don't turn it away. Michigan State looked good. We were like, oh my gosh, I mean, Sparta to win the title. Uh, North Carolina beat a team who's barely beaten any good teams all year long. But I was expecting it. Not a great three-point shooting team, but about 139th in the country, shooting about 35% as a team. But the one thing we know about Marquette's defense, the three-point line is vulnerable for them. Only on Sports Grid. Your gut says Miami is going to win and you should take the over. Your gut also said your NFT selfies would only go up in value. They didn't. 
But your head is on sports grid and knows the QB is in concussion protocol. The backup has a 45 QBR against the zone coverage. The New York D has the most sacks in the league. So yeah, trust your head. It's smarter to be on sports grid. Sports grid. Your 24-7 sports wagering network. Pro League Soccer, powered by Marca. I would be willing to bet the under two and a half goals. Fantasy Sports Today. Especially in head-to-head formats in fantasy, I think I'm going to go with Juan Soto. Game Time Decisions. People don't like it. I don't really care. I cannot believe anybody is betting the Clippers at this number. Betting above the rim. What we've heard you say on the network is you're either winning your rebuild in game live all access nobody has been more profitable as a dog than shaka smarty winning back-to-back road games i I don't care if they're playing topeka high i i wouldn't give them any chance whatsoever in game live prime time back to back just utterly stinker quarters in game live overtime honestly as, as you sit here and listen watch right now you may want to consider uh, placing that bet. It's smarter to be on Sports Grid. Back in game live prime time right here on the grid actually a pretty good sign that we didn't do that much college basketball tonight just because uh you know there's so many other things going on that uh, the guys tomorrow will be talking about it you know throughout the day so we, we kind of like look at other little avenues so i don't know day final moments here did any of these games jump off the page for you as far as point spreads go um uh, i do like north carolina and that Ill- i tell you the game i'm looking forward to most is the last one illinois iowa state that really should be a great game i like the over in it i i think illinois could dictate tempo where they win or lose who knows but I-, I got a feeling this goes to at least 146 i hope it's not much of a sweat to be perfectly honest because i think we're going to be we're going to be forced into taking iowa state in our survivor with that one um it's it's down to that or north carolina i don't know if i want to use north carolina i think they're going to beat alabama i do so um no look we're looking forward to a, a couple really good days of basketball these are this was always my favorite weekend before i moved to vegas and then after i've been here 20 years this this weekend it's less crowded i got some guys texting me right now they're watching the show i'm going to meet them they got some VIPs, cool. setups. I'll be in and out of some books, watching basketball, having fun. And uh, baseball starts tomorrow. That's great. I, I can't wait. The Pirates tomorrow are live. I'm not just saying that. Love that. Because it's nighttime in Pittsburgh behind me. Keller in April is going to be good. That game under. Start off with an under. Them in Miami, Lazardo, Keller, under. Bet the home teams tomorrow. Opening day, you bet the home teams. They always do well. It's a big crowd. Yeah, it's another system. It's a good system. You get a monster crowd. You get all the excitement. You get their aces. Yeah. Uh, Home teams generally go uh, like three or if not four to one. Yeah. You know the Pirates are playing in Miami tomorrow. They're not the home team. One loss. Oh, well, except for your Pirates. Ridiculous! (laughs) See you tomorrow.